Yeah, um, it's been a long pre-season for the girls. We kicked off in, in December um, and last night I think we counted up was our 42nd session for the pre-season. So the girls have done a hell of a lot of work over that time um, and we've been really pleased with how they sort of handled that work and, and handled what we've thrown at them in terms of the structures and things that we're putting into place. So pretty pleased with how the, the preparation's gone. Um, our last month or so has probably been a little bit chaotic because we've had some isolation issues with COVID. Um, but I think everyone's probably dealt with that a little bit over, over the pre-season, so we're no different to everybody else. Um, and obviously Angela's come in now, so we're really pleased to have her here. Um, she provides us with that, I guess, physicality at both ends of the floor uh, and the ability to score and, and find open teammates on the perimeter. So really excited to, to get her out there tomorrow night and, and see how she goes, and, and hopefully she has a good time as well. And for those who don't know, can you give us a little bit of a recap from last season, I guess, building on that some of your goals for this season might be? Yeah, well, I wasn't the coach last season, um, but it wasn't a wasn't one of the better seasons that the clubs had for the women's team. So um, our focus this year is is really on um, improvement, changing our culture, and, and moving in the getting the program, I guess, moving in the right direction. Um, and we're really pleased with I guess the steps that we've taken over the pre-season to do that. Um, and with a, young, a really young group, um, with a couple of experienced players, we're really positive about the direction we're heading and, and what the future can hold. Yeah, I think we, we just had to come in and start changing some of our habits, I think, in terms of the way that we prepare to play. Um, I guess understanding that you know, this is a semi-professional competition and the, and the second highest level in our country. So, we need to prepare that way, um, and that, that includes the way that we train, the way that we look after our bodies away from training, and the other preparation and you know diet and all that sort of stuff. So the girls have really, I guess, taken all that on board, particularly being a young group. It's been a bit of a learning curve, both physically and mentally, for a lot of them. Um, but they've really taken that on, and I'm, I'm really pleased with, with how that's gone. Um, and I guess the biggest thing in terms of the on-court stuff is just playing with effort 100% of the time. Um, so really our focus in these first few games while we find our feet is really just getting out there and playing hard, sticking to the structures that we've sort of built on over the pre-season and, and the results will take care of themselves. Yeah, yeah so we're, we're a little bit undermanned. Obviously we've got another import to come in in a couple of weeks. Um, we've got five players missing. Uh, at the moment with the, the under-20 state team at the Nationals. Um, so we're a little bit undermanned tomorrow. Um, and coming up against Launceston, who were you know, one of the top couple of teams in last season, and, and probably their, their combination of Payne, Froling and, uh, and Griffin's probably the premier trio, I guess, in the competition. So it's going to be a challenge. Um, we know that, but that's the exciting part, that we get to sort of jump out there after all the work that we've done and, and throw ourselves up against one of the premier teams and, and see how we go. So really excited for that. And having a top of that more sort of professional attitude leading into the season, what's your message to uh, don't, uh, don't look forward to coming to Hobart because we're going to make you work for everything that you get. I think that's, that's the way that we've tried to, I guess, prepare for the season is that um, you know, everyone that comes here, whether they beat us or not, um, they're going to know that they've played the Hobart Chargers and I think that's the way we're prepared and, and that's the way we want to play this season.